events like that for the yeah, kids. Yeah, and what a good day for the kids to be outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think it's all Beautiful. snow on the mountains, too. So we yeah. have, like, summer-like weather along with, you know, hot weather. Right. Yeah. So we have we still have snow on the mountains, snow but, on the, right. but right now we're dealing with very warm conditions. So some of that snow might melt as we head into the next few days. But right now we have this high pressure system sitting overhead that's pumping in the warm, dry air. Talk about a taste of spring here in the Southland. So we only had one city breaking a record, but because we've had such cool temperatures all winter, this definitely makes it feel more spring-like this weekend. So today's highs much warmer than yesterday. In fact, this is probably the warmest of the next seven days. So tonight, as you may have noticed with our Long Beach camera right there, we do have high clouds slowly moving in, and that's because that high-pressure system that brought us the warmth the last few days, well, it's going to slowly move off to the east, and there is a system to the north of us that's going to bring in some of the cooler air and also filter in a little bit more clouds as we head into tomorrow. Out the door right now, it is still really warm and comfortable. 83 for Ontario, 82 for San Bernardino. We have 80 still for Fullerton, 77 for Burbank, 78 for Santa Cruz. Korea and 80 degrees right now for Van Nuys. As you get closer to the coast, a little bit more mild because we have a little bit of that sea breeze. We have upper 60s currently for LAX. So winds are pretty light, but we also have a little bit more of those offshore winds inland, and that's what helped warm things up today. But that sea breeze will start to really strengthen as we head into tomorrow as that low pressure system just to the north of us, bringing in a lot more clouds to the northern part of the state, starts to push in. So with the stronger sea breeze, that means temperatures will be cooling down just a touch as we head into tomorrow. So so not quite as warm as today. Here's a look at the future cast. So as we head into the overnight hours, we're expecting a little bit more of the high clouds to push back in. By tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see a lot more cloud cover, a lot more of the high, thin clouds overhead from that system to the north of us. Most of the moisture will stay to the north of us, but we're just dealing with slightly cooler conditions and then also some of that marine influence thickening up as we head into Tuesday. Tuesday will be even cooler than Monday. And then we're looking at another system start, starting to push in. So again, high pressure moving off to the east, low pressure. This first one will just slide just to the north of us, bringing in some cooler air. And then this next system will push in a little bit more of the cloud cover also. So that means mostly cloudy skies by the end of the week. And then there is a chance on Friday into Saturday here in the Southland. We could see some showers associated with this next system. But most of that rain will stay to the north of us, especially for Northern California. So highs today will be about highs tomorrow. That is 80 degrees for Santa Clarita, 80 for Northridge. So even though we're still dealing with 80s tomorrow inland, some other cities right along the coast will drop down to the upper 70s like Manhattan Beach. We'll have 81 for Long Beach, 72 for Huntington Beach, 83 for Diamond Bar, and then 84 for Corona, 84 also for San Bernardino, and then temperatures continue to cool as we head into the rest of the week, dropping to the 60s and 70s on Tuesday, mid to upper 60s on Wednesday, and then again the possibility of showers as we head into Friday and Saturday. So a gradual cool down as we head into the next few days. Back to you guys.